Some people have asked me how I do the drop shadow frame for some of my posts on Facebook. Uh, so here's how I do it. There are two different ones you need to do depending on whether you have a landscape orientation or portrait orientation. So first of all for the portrait I'll use one of my recent photos here uh, for each one of these. First thing I do is I go to layer and flatten image. Now at the minute I don't need to do this because it's all you know it's grayed out here because the image is flat. Sometimes if you're bringing it over from Lightroom into Photoshop then you may need to flatten the image first. It just makes it easier. It just goes weird if you don't flatten the image first. By the way this is all in Photoshop. So first of all flatten the image if it isn't already flat. Then what you do is you duplicate the layer, you grab over here in the layer section, grab the background over to the plus, let go, now you have a copy. Then you go up to image, canvas size, and the first thing I want to do is um, change it to relative here and put the number 2 in for 2 pixels to get a very faint or fine black border around the picture so I need to change the color to black uh, and if you see relative if I have it at that I can add two pixels to that but that depending on the, on the on the size I'd have to actually put a number in there so that could change the size of the picture so you put relative here so it just adds two pixels um, to the width and to the height and here I'm adding it to all sides so I click OK that has added a fine uh, line around the picture which you may not be able to see but that's okay. Then I go again and go to image canvas size and I change it to um, white this time and I go to percent and I'm taking the relative off because um, in a sense a percentage is relative to what it is. Oh didn't mean to do that. So for portraits I go 120 on the width and 115 on the height. There we go. The reason is because the height of the image is longer than the width of the image. So because this is a percentage, I can't, you know, if I put 120 around all of it, then 120% of the longer edge will give me more of an increase. So that's what I do there. For portraits, 120 width, 115 height, and for landscapes, it's just the opposite way around. Click OK. There we go. Then all you have to do now is in the layers section down to FX at the bottom here and go to drop shadow. And here's where you kind of pl play around with it or mess around with it. I have the settings actually already here, which I think work for me. So first of all, the blend mode is going to be multiply, that's fine, and it's going to be black. Uh, that, that comes up as default. The opacity, or the opacity, depending on how you say it, I have it at 34%, with an angle of 45 degrees. So you see the 45 degrees comes right down here. If you have anything other than 45 degrees, you might get some of the uh, frame or the, the shadow coming around the top and right-hand side of the frame, which looks weird. Distance I have is 91 pixels. Again, if the distance is too much, let me change, um, well, the spread, I mean, increase the spread. Spread is zero, but if I increase the spread here, will you see what happens? You see there, it doesn't, it's not fine anymore. And you can see some of the gray is coming up around the other sides, which you don't want, which is why I have that all the way down at zero. The distance is 91 and the size is 103. That's really all you need to know. 34% opacity or opacity, 45 degree angle, distance 91, spread 0 and size 103. Click OK and then layer, flatten image and we are done. Let me take away the crop. Done. Same for the landscape. Do exactly the same thing. So first of all duplicate the layer, go to the plus, there's the layer duplicated. Oh, well, first thing, actually flatten the image first, but I knew this image is already flat. Then you go to image, canvas size, relative, black, 
and we change two pixels there and two pixels there. Okay. Then we go to image, canvas size again, and then we change it back to white. We take off the relative, we go into percent. This time it's 115 on the width and 120 on the height. Click OK. Then we go down to FX, drop shadow, and same, same, same details exactly the same. 34% opacity, 45 degree angle, 91 distance, zero spread, 103 size. Now you can play about with these if you want, if you want something different. This is what I think works for me anyway. Click OK. Then layer, flatten image, and you're done with the portrait and with the landscape. And to be fair, I think this, the way this is done, it, it really brightens up the image. It really makes it pop. Hope you find it helpful. I have created an action for it, so you can do that yourself. Or for £5, sure, I'll sell you the action. Haha. <laughs>